In this video, I'm going to show you some of the administrative controls for generative AI capabilities inside of Copilot Studio. So first you'll need to understand what we're talking about when we say PPAC, otherwise known as the Power Platform Admin Center. And I'm going to show you how to navigate to this inside of Copilot Studio. So in Copilot Studio, once you have opened a Copilot, like you can see here, I've opened this Microsoft Copilot. All you need to do is navigate up to the gear and you'll see the Power Platform Admin Center location right here. And we just click on this and it will open up your Power Platform Admin Center. So this is where you will control all the different admin controls for your Power Platform tenant. So the first thing we're gonna look at is enabling and disabling Bing search for things like generative answers. So a lot of people may be wondering, why would an organization want to disable Bing search for some reason for generative answers? Let me explain kind of the difference in the Bing search versus all the other type of locations for generative answers that you're using. In the case of this, imagine that you have this business applications tenant, and inside of it, I have all my different co-pilots. In most cases, whenever you're using a co-pilot, you're staying within the context of the tenant. However, whenever you make a query against a public website, such as going and using generative answers to search against Bing, you're actually going across and passing a query to the public internet uh, for the Bing service. And in some cases, because of the fact that this is located as a geo-redundant service that is on the public internet, we can't guarantee that that's not going to cross over into some other region. So let's say that you're in France and you don't want your uh, information or queries to ever leave France. We can't guarantee that whenever you're going to the Bing search. Now, the alternative to this would be to create your own Azure AI search implementation that's within your own Azure tenant to displace Bing and be able to do it through custom data. But this is just an example of why someone might want to do this. Now, let's go look in PPAC and figure out how would we actually control this feature. Okay, so now we're in PPAC and I'm going to show you where we can go in and configure whether or not Bing search is on or off for your specific environment, because this is an environment level setting. We're gonna go into environments. I'm gonna select my environment. In this case, it's this Contoso one. And you'll scroll down and on the bottom right hand side, you'll see it here and we can simply click edit and you can turn it on or off here on a per environment level. So if I wanted to turn it off, I would simply uncheck it and hit save. And at that point, you won't be able to configure generative answers in this environment to be able to use Bing custom or Bing search uh, as a provider for generative answers. The next thing we're gonna take a look at that you can configure is the ability to enable or disable publishing copilots that have generative AI capabilities within them. This is generally used by customers who are looking to not be able to start uh, publishing out generative AI capabilities quite yet. The organization hasn't agreed that they're willing to do that through some sort of internal committee or something like that needs to go through to be able to approve it. I'm going to walk you through how to do this inside of PPAC. Now that we're back inside of PPAC, I'm going to show you where you can actually configure this setting. So the first thing you need to know is that this is a tenant level setting. So we need to go to settings. And if I scroll down toward the bottom, you will see that there is a publish copilots with AI features. If you come into the here and you disable this, such as this, and hit save, at that point, no one within your organization or within this tenant is going to have the ability to be able to go in and be able to hit the publish button whenever they add the generative AI features. Now they'll still be able to use those generative AI features to develop things and be able to test them and things of that nature. They just won't be able to publish them out for consumption in a production based scenario. So again, this is usually a scenario where I'm looking for someone who needs like to get some sort of an approval for this to be used inside of their organization. And yes, it will disable all generative AI capabilities within uh, 
the Copilot Studio itself. So just be aware of that. I hope this video is super helpful to help you understand how you can get all of the admin controls working inside of Copilot Studio around generative AI features. And as always, you can like and subscribe to my videos. And as always, you can try Copilot Studio at aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio.